My tattoo parlor is ready to open. Welcome, dear customers. Place. Wait, get in line. Why are they taking so long? What's the holdup? Doesn't anyone want tattoos? I've done everything for them. Where are they? What's that noise outside? Here are some customers. But why are they going to her great design? Come on in. She's taking all of my customers. Amazing. Will this be possible? Absolutely. You took my customers. They came to me on their own. Let's settle this. Whoever fills their jars faster wins. Deal. And the loser leaves the parlor. Phew, time for lunch. Can't leave clients unattended. Now I'll take over for Meow. Can I get a tattoo? Seriously, I can't handle it. But Damon is a real master. Hello, I'd like a Pikachu. Then you should go to the office next door. Wonder where he is. We've been waiting for an hour. <gasps> what a relief. Where did all these people come from? Do not disturb. Hmm. What does that mean? Damon, I'll show you. Forget about winning. Oh, you little trickster. I must go. Phew, my jar is safe. Well, we're done here. This is for you. A Pokeball? Hi, dear. Hello, little one. Wait, are you allowed to get a tattoo? I absolutely need one. Oh no, the machine's out of power. Let me help. Pikachu! Brr. Oh no, it overheated. I have a backup plan. This is scary. Well, the machine would have been faster. No worries. Ouch! It's prickly! All done. Phew! What can I do for you? Buddy, uh, can you do a dot? You can do that, right? Couldn't think of anything simpler. See? Easy peasy. All right, here's your dot. What do you think? Let's do another one. As many as you like, buddy. Hmm. Hope it turns out well. Still not right. How much longer can this go on? I've been making dots for an hour. Is this ever going to end? Are we done? Yes. No, that's just what I needed. I'm not Ladybug. I can't do this. Hi, could you do a flounder tattoo for me on my tail? Hmm, fish. Please lie on the couch. We'll also have lunch there. <laughs> I'm so nervous. No need to worry. Let's get started. Here we go. Take this. Excellent service. I deserve this. Bon appetit to me. Hey, what the? Are you going to do the tattoo or not? Fine, I'll do it now. You're so boring. All I needed was some lemon. Troom food. Much tastier this way. Oh, yes. Be quiet. Let's season our fish. Mm, are you trying to eat me? Ouch! Ooh! Time to update the sketches. Have you seen my poor kitty? He's been missing for over an hour. <laughs> Looking for a kitty, are you? I saw one. He must be hungry. <coughs> kitty, do you want some milk? Of course. Good kitty. Want to play? Of course. I'll catch you. Just you wait. Come here. So playful. I'll knit you a sweater. Yarn? Cool. So much fun. Scratch behind my ear. Let's not disturb the sweet pair. Everyone else, come to me. Cool. Let's go fast. You won't regret it. <laughs> I almost untangled it. Are you sleeping? What time is it? What a nightmare. Whoa! That's it. No more tricks from Damon. Do you like it? Then drop the money in here. Hey! I've got customers. You took them. All the best. Got it. Time for me to go. I hate him. Ooh, catnip. No cat can resist it. This will be quite a surprise. <laughs> so nasty. Can I come in? Good afternoon. Phew. What's that smell? Oh, hello. What a scent. I want a hieroglyph. Of course. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it on the arm. Right here. Hmm. On the leg? Yummy. What are you doing? My tattoos come without rabies. So feel free to stop by. This should distract her. Now follow me. 
Much better. What would you like? I have a bunch of sketches. This is beautiful. Or this. What else? I think this will suit you. I want a hieroglyph. Can you do it on the neck? On the neck, ooh, perfect spot. So tasty. Hey, I have a boyfriend. Do it quickly. Focus, can't lose a client. Seems to be going well. Can't look without getting hungry. Well, can I look? Yes, please. Hmm, I like it. Really? How strange. Arigato. And now… Ouch! Where did he go? Oh well. She almost knocked out my fangs. I'm still hungry. Seems like she forgot. Laser? I have a great… oops… idea. Ah, uh, almost done. This is so cool. <laughs> now for the payment. Right here. Sure thing. Thank you so much. Great spot. I'll deal with her in no time. Oh, what's this now? Get it off! What? I'll catch it now! Hey, don't run away! Just stop! What was that? Where are you going? Missed! Won't happen again! Take this! Take this! I'm the best shooter! Missed again! Ah! I didn't think it was so dangerous here. Come again! Congratulations, you've won a prize. If this keeps up, I'll lose. Hey, pale one, give me a bone tattoo. Make it big. Are you a vampire? Babe, ah. you want a bone? Then be a good doggy and go to the next office. There's a cat in there. I'll get both a bone and a cat. Super! Don't growl here. Woof, woof. Want a bone? Yeah. Wow. How did you do that? Oh, let's do a tattoo. That's what I wanted. Will you help me? Mmm, sounds tempting. I agree. Go ahead. Then hold on. Ah! What's happening there? Ouch! It hurts! Well, have fun. All the best. And it's done. I thought I wouldn't be able to take it. Cool. High five. Silly me off. Say goodbye to life. Now I can have as many bones as I want. See? Get it? Congratulations. What do you want from me? So what about our deal? Attack. Yep. What a nightmare. What? Hi, Damon. I really like it. Can you do a tattoo? Let's do it. I'm so scared. It's not painful, just like a mosquito bite. <laughs> you know, this way will be more comfortable. Don't twitch your arms. Is it done? Wow, so cool. There we go. The money. Nice doing business with you. Hand it over. I'll save this for a rainy day. Did she leave without her hand? Has anyone seen Barbie? I have an idea. Time to sleep. Thanks for the helping hand. Now back to work. So many clients. What's going on? I need to check this out. This office is too small for two cats. I won't let you win that easily. What a mess. Meowth would definitely struggle with this. Everything is scattered here. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. Meowth. That's it. Watch out. I'm in trouble. This will distract her. Take this. I can't hear an explosion. Catch! Ugh, disgusting! You're caught, loser. <laughs> Here's a fur ball for you. There, take him away. Code red, we found her. We'll take care of her. Thanks for your cooperation. 100, 200. Nice doing business with you. Have a good day. Always happy to help. Huh? What was that? Uh, better not think about it. Yes, what's happening here? Weird! My jar is already full. I'm just a step away from my dream. Uh, I honestly think I deserve a break. Time for a nap. Mm, sweet dreams. Yes, yes, yes! This is the end for you, Meowth. She's holding on tight. And she's scratching too. Need our placement. Much better. Thanks, fishy. What else should I do? I have an idea. A tattoo to remember. Take that. Tickles? 
Goodbye. But I can't leave it like this. This place needs a major renovation. Time to get to work. I'll make her lose the desire to run a tattoo parlor. How nasty everything is. Just spoils the view. Pikachu, Pikachu! No more Pokemon here. What nonsense! Boom, boom! Huh? What's that noise? Destruction time! I hate Pokemon. You'll learn what it's like to deal with me. Job done. Now wake up! Ah! Too loud? Bye! Mm, good morning! What a horror! My studio! It's destroyed! Who would have done this? My jar! No! It can't be! I've been robbed! Oh, Damon, it's all that cheeky vampire! Damon! Why am I so unlucky? How could he do this? And there's another pimple! This day's just a disappointment! Oh, hi! Meow, how are you? Hi, Snorlax. Don't even ask. Don't be sad. I know what will cheer you up. Oh, huh? look at that. That's her, the prettiest Pokemon in school. She's wow. even cooler up close. Oh, a photo shoot for Vogue? Sure. That should have been me. Charmy, look at this. <laughs> the queen of the school herself reached her hand to me. Yikes, antiseptic, that's gross. Come on, nerd. Where's the job? Oh, huh? gorgeous. Give it up. Goodbye. Evie, wait! I wanted to ask, will you go out with me? Charmy, did you hear? Let me text you, okay? Check your messages. Sure. Bug off. All right. You're clever. Come on, let's get out of here. Snorlax, maybe this isn't the right atmosphere. The bell. Let's get to class. Phew, that was close. Ha, huh, runners. Tell me about it. Hey. Come on, Snorlax. And now the test. I hope you've done your homework. And don't ever try to cheat. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> Kindergarten level. You're trying to fail us. Oh, hey, Chubby. Did someone call for me? Can you help with the dough, handsome? <laughs> well, if I'm handsome, then yes. There you go. Thank you. What? How dare you? <laughs> I blew off the main hottie. Let's turn in our work. Wow, I'm proud of you. Charmy, you stay after class. Evie, time's up. But I've only just started. The capital of Italy is cheese. That's how you stay sophomore year. Miss Pedro, I'll make it up to you. The lesson is over. You can be dismissed. Well, shall we go watch Trump food? Charmy, can you help me? Hey, Snorlax, you're smart. Help me with the test. Meow, will you at least help me? Please. I don't want to stay for a second year. Only on one condition. Hmm. What condition? I want to be the new school queen. And you'll help me? It's a deal, Meow. You can let go now. Are you ready? Of course. Then let's start with your makeup. It's a lot of work. Don't worry about it. Trump food. Did you know I'm a doctor of cosmetology? Thanks to my two-week course. Let's get this out of the way. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Just hold still. Remove here. Great, now some more in here. Maybe we can pull them out. Oh, nothing seems to help. Those were mere games. Now it's getting serious. Whoa, I'll take it easy. What's this? Relax, it's a vacuum cleaner. Watch the fish. So yummy. Meowth will require maximum power. What's going on? I think I overdid it with the power. Meowth, are you there? My face. <laughs> it, it worked. Thanks, Evie. Lie down. We still have to put your contacts in. How about glasses instead? Look at the world with new eyes. Wow, it's so sharp. And, and there's nothing pressing on my nose. You have lenses hmm. now. What if something gets in my eye? The carbon mass is changing at... Oh. That's boring. Is she delusional? Does anyone know that formula? What a shame. I wish I didn't forget my headphones. The variables are reversed. Hmm. So that's how it is. Another nerd. You'll be needing this in your life. 
Wow, look what I found. Hmm, I'll show you. Choose Beedrill and press replace. Wow, I was just at Harvard. The theory of relativity was fundamental in the creation of... What? Who is that? Enter Hopkins called it a world-changing breakthrough. Hmm. What are you doing? This isn't fun. Let's look some more. Whoa, now we're making soap. Is this a dream? Wrong formula. Sorry. Oh, that was dangerous. Give me the next one. School? I hated that place. Hello, losers. <laughs> New topic. Wow, that's a cool teacher. School isn't cool. Also, no homework. <laughs> wow, isn't he cute? He doesn't seem to teach us anything. If Evie doesn't pass the test, I won't be a queen. Hmm. Evie, this is for you. We're not going to read it, are we? Well, not only that. How awful. Let's start with this one. It's the most detailed encyclopedia. Ugh, I give up. It's so boring. Do you want another F for the test? Uh, okay. Uh, where are the pictures? They'll be here soon. Read. Oh, I think I found one. Do you think he likes books like you? Hey, that's personal. I think someone has a crush. Not funny. Don't worry, he'll be yours. Let's go. No, no, no! Look, there he is. Most productive player. I definitely deserve a whole shelf for myself. I'm the king of the school for a reason. <laughs> That's it. Stop being shy and go. Oh, sorry. I'm the elf. Hey. Uh, what do I do? He said hello. Good. That's a start. Go on. Got it. You wouldn't happen to need a kitty cat, would you? Meow. Oh, no. It's over. How about a kiss? I uh, think I'll pass. Oh, no. My kiss destroyed him. How am I supposed to live with that now? Easy, Meow. He's all right. I'll make you so pretty, he'll chase for you. Really? If not for me, then for my artistic taste. It's going to be a masterpiece, I promise. Ouch! Art requires sacrifice. That's it. Ow, it still hurts. Okay, I trust you. Now we're talking. You wouldn't even recognize yourself. Wow. You're gorgeous. Thanks. Let's perfect your look. Great. Now everyone will be dreaming about a kiss from you. <laughs> wow, Evie, you're such a good friend. You don't know what a good stylist I am. Don't move. Let me help you. Great. How dry is your hair? Evie, I'm gonna go bald that way. Maybe you're shedding. Oops, <laughs> you saw nothing. I like it. How do you like me? You look great. Hmm. Welcome to my nail salon. You can't do much with just a nail file here. Safety first. Uh, be careful over there. I've got it under control, don't worry. It's so dark with the mask on. It didn't seem to help. Let's get the saw then. No, definitely not the saw. I still need my arms. All right. If we can't saw them off, then maybe we can sharpen them. Do you like it? I had one like that when I was a kid. I could scratch it for hours, like that. Look, wow, should I try it too? Great, we can move on to painting. <laughs> Great, I like it so much. Me too, thank you. I'm like Hello Kitty, come with me. What are we going to do with the outfit? It's so comfortable, should we change it? A long time ago, I'll do it. Okay, then where do we start? Can I be honest with you? It's all garbage. Let's see what I have. Okay, that won't work for you. Wow, she's serious. What is this? It's so tasteless. Oh, I don't envy Snorlax. How did you get the teacher's costume? Wow, nice hammer. What, wait, that's your costume? That's what I was looking for. Hey, how did that happen? Take it off right now. It fits incredible. How nice. It looks good on you. You look awesome. So, am I ready? Wake up, Pikachu! There's work to be done! So it was a dream? Pika can't find her place. She wants to return to her dream to 
Abra is worried about his roommate's sleepiness. Maybe she's sick? Pikachu really isn't feeling well. Does she have a fever? Maybe it's contagious. Abra decided not to take any chances. Pikachu, you have to watch where you fall. How can I sleep now? Nothing's working. Here comes Abra. He's back with water for Pika. Abra doesn't think it's time for romance. Pikachu, have you eaten anything sweet lately? Why do you have so many pimples? I think the disease is starting to get worse. Abra decided not to take any chances. Abra, what are you so excited about? Looks like Pikachu has a new addition to the team. It seems Abra became a father today. Grandma Beedrill can't wait to see the baby. Abra, you shouldn't scare old people. Not to mention Pokemon. You better help Grandma carry her things. It's been a long time since they've seen each other. Beedrill missed Pika. Beedrill has been waiting very long for a granddaughter. Don't be jealous, Pikachu. You're going to be a grandmother someday, too. Beedrill has a gift for the young Pokemon. And here's her bag. This is for the baby. This is for cleaning. And here are some of Abra's toys. The baby needs them more. Are you sure the diaper's clean? Hold on, Pikachu. Motherhood has become an unbearable burden with Beedrill around. Mm. Grandma didn't even start giving life lessons. And one last gift. <laughs> Pikachu is willing to give up just to avoid being run over. Phew, it's only a stroller. Here, Abra. There's so much more for the girls to do. Hang in there, Abra. No one said it would be easy. Beedrill thinks the baby needs more fresh air. In her days, the air was cleaner. There weren't all those factories. I think this is Pikachu's salvation. It's Ash. He doesn't know Pikachu has a new addition to the family. The coach can't wait to meet the new Pokemon. What a generation. Not like it used to be. I think the baby's growing up right before my eyes. A mother's heart can't get happier than this. Baby's already put on some weight. Are you ready, little one? It's time for a bath. That's where Grandma Beedrill's shower gel comes in handy. Well done, Abra. Safety first. Now you can make your daughter not only sparkle, but also shine. What wonderful parents Abra and Pikachu are. Dreams are sweeter after bathing. And the book is the greatest guide to the world of dreams. What? It seems to be working. Abra has become very caring with parenthood. Okay, Abra, we'll be quieter. What's going on? Abra, what have you done already? Wait, if Pikachu just came in, who are they throwing food at? Now Pikachu will give him a master class. First of all, you should start with the tastiest things. Pika, pika. <laughs> That's right, Abra remembered. Now lunch will go smoothly. Pikachu, don't worry, ketchup <laughs> didn't run out. Abra's got it. He wants to be a good father, too. Abra, here's something to cheer you up for the day. But I think the baby's fed and happy. Oh no, something's wrong. He's obviously not happy about something. Is the baby okay? She's growing up a little more. You're great parents. Ash can't wait to start training. He has a reward for Pikachu. But Pika seems to be floating away. Ash doesn't recognize his Pokemon. Sorry, trainer. I'm worried about Abra and the baby. Abra wants to say hello to Coach. Pikachu dashes after the flying Pokeball. She's a real hero. Come on, Pikachu. Back to training. Abrachu is going to roll nowhere else. Pika is focused and ready to attack. Abra still won't come to his senses after all. And he's right to leave. It's better not to distract Pika from her training. Coach recognizes good old Pikachu again. <laughs> hey, maybe the little girl wants to try. Nice work. You're just like your mother. <laughs> Pikachu's proud of his daughter. Maybe they'll be on the same team when she grows up. Ash is about to apply for Coach of the Year nomination. But Abrachu brings him down to earth. The supervisor starts the inspection. No one walks into his hall without a good mood. Now, where does the line start? Our team, too, decided to go on a family screening. Ash will help them get to their seats as quickly as possible. Maybe the candy will turn the controller's eyes off. But the plan doesn't work. 
Ash isn't going to give up. He brought a star with him. The Pokemon have no choice but to play along with the coach. Abra dresses Pika up in a detective costume. The controller recognizes Detective Pikachu. Just one autograph, please. Oh, I can't wait to see myself on the big screen. What? Stomach? That's for the next part. I can't let you through without an autograph. Pikachu took pity on the fan and left her signature. This must be the best day of the ticket controller's life. He's letting the VIP guest in without a line. It's time to take your baby for a health checkup. Make yourself comfortable, little one. The doctor sees the young couple and takes over the case. They are so happy that the doctor will attend to them. The baby doesn't seem to be compatible with electrical devices. The doctor has another idea. So Blue, your insurance is defined. There he is, prehistoric stethoscope. We're about to find out. Uh-oh, what's with the lights? I think the doctor is a part-time lamp technician as well. That burns. Congratulations, you're gonna have a... But the parents don't wanna know that before it's time. Then why did the doctor go through all of this? Pikachu and Abra decided to have a gender party. Ash concedes to Grandma to pop the balloon. B is just made for it. Yay! She's going to have a granddaughter! <laughs> Young mother spends all her time with her baby. What's going on? She's sparkling again. Abra decided to get busy with the cooking in the meantime. Oh no, what's that commotion? What if Pika and the baby are in danger? The Pokeball's gotten a whole lot bigger. Abra's already there. Give it up, bandits. Uh -huh. Even though there are no bandits, someone's stolen his heart. And it's their baby, Abrachu. He can't wait to hold her in his arms. It's her first discharge. Ross? Did he get out of jail again? Give me back my Pokeball quickly, or you'll be sorry. But the Pokemons know it's Ross who's going to be sorry. Ross can't figure out why they're giving up their Pokemon so easily. And then it all became clear. Catch the baby. Yeah, I'd rather not pry into their family's business. Ross, you really did it. Looks like it's time to take their first family selfies. This will be the first chapter in Little Abertru's Life album. Pokemon is sure that the little girl will do well. After all, she's surrounded not only by her parents, but also by wonderful friends. They will always play and feed her. It's him again! Ross! He's probably played the police around again. Are you strong enough to stand up to the whole team? And don't forget the young prodigy. But he's not here to fight. He's here with a gift for a new Pokemon. The little one will never turn down a gift. This is all too suspicious. Ash and Beedrill, surprised as much as their parents. It's more likely the rivers will reverse before Ross becomes good. Get him! He's got Abertu! Don't let him get away! You haven't seen a new Pokeball like this yet. The new item is a real mermaid! Wow, the Pokemons are excited about their new colleague. Ariel looks really adorable. How not to adopt a sea princess? Except only one person will get her, and that would be... Young man at the end of the hall, come on stage. Make your way for the winner. It looks like Ross has a great catch tonight. Pichu doesn't think the judges are fair. Ross only deserves to be kicked. Ash, how did you get here in time to sign the papers? You really wouldn't deny Pichu a new friend, would you? It looks like the judge didn't know about Ross's reputation. The deal is canceled. You shouldn't be crossing Pokemon anymore. Ariel is now part of the team. Your Highness, this is your new home. Feel yourself like a fish in water. Pichu can't wait to play with her new friend. Wait a minute. This is Ash's collection. How many Pokemon are there? At last, Ariel can look at it from the outside. Oh no, I think that's Pichu's Pokeball. Ariel shouldn't have picked it up. It looks like Pichu wasn't planning on playing hide and seek. She is very unhappy about this twist. And what's Ash doing? I think he's hooked. And judged by the picture, he's not the only one. With the new guest also came rearrangements. It seems now we could forget about sushi. How are we supposed to live now? Ariel is also thinking about the comforts. The fishes seem to enjoy the aquarium so much. Maybe Ash can make it so she's underwater too. Yeah, underwater? Ash, you've got it all wrong. How could you do such a thing? Okay. I'll make it right. How disrespectful to the princess. Surprise! I got you now. He never seems to get over his loss. What a scoundrel. But Ariel's not going back to him. Then Ross will make do with another souvenir. Ash, help! 
Coach got a little carried away with a nautical theme. Poor Ariel tried, but she couldn't save Pichu from Ross. I hope she'll be okay. Who knows why Ross would want little Pichu? I think it's time to call for backup. Pikachu, I choose you! And what even happened to distract her from eating ketchup? We have to tell her everything. Pichu, Pichu! Why is everyone so sad? It's going to be hard to tell her that she's missing. Pikachu's fuse is blue. It's Ross again. Hey, uh, where did it all go? Breaking the TV to fix it is not a good idea, Snorlax. You should do something you're good at. Who's out of luck this time? Strawberry. Snorlax loves it. Was that TV working? Uh-oh. Looks like someone's in serious trouble. If you want to keep eating donuts, you must cooperate. But that won't make the TV work. Pikachu's a top-notch electrician. She can do it in a heartbeat. Look, it's working! I think Pika found what she needed. There's Ross and Pichu on camera footage. What a rascal! Ross better not let Pikachu see him. Look, he's just messing with us. There goes the picture again. Now that Pika knows where he's going, there's no stopping her. Pikachu, calm down. You need to take the edge off. Snorlax is an idea generator. I think this case is just made for Detective Beedrill. Pikachu has renewed her faith in success. Have you forgotten how to chew? Pikachu, you'd better hurry. Rapidash looks after Ross's lab in his absence. Look what I got. Ross's knees won't forget Pichu's sneaky punches. But it seems that Pichu was the missing element in their devious plan. Pichu never gives up. Let's see how you do after the experiment. He wants to use science to turn Pichu into an evil Pichu. Nothing seems to stop two villains. Replacing the good gene with the evil one. Ross is so excited. He's finally succeeding at something. All the generators and circuits seem to be working at full speed. Whoa. The moment of truth has arrived. It's working. This is incredible. Looks like we're only an hour away from transformation. Can Ross really get away with this? Let's go back to Ash's apartment. Pikachu is feeling itchy. The boys are just as upset about Pichu's disappearance. Ash tries to calm her subject down. She's gonna run out of battery for sure. Ariel hopes to at least get some help from the fish. Maybe they know where Ross is lying low. Maybe they're in this together with Ross. Is there no hope left at all? Pikachu doesn't know what to do with herself. Ariel tries to calm her down with a gentle breeze. Where did all those bees come from? Detective Beedrill read her message. But where's the author? Yes, indeed. The detective is just in time. Everyone has something to tell her. But most importantly, they're looking for a missing Pokemon. Well, Beedrill takes the case. First, we have to search the crime scene. The only clue so far is the missing Pichu hat. There's nothing to hide from Beedrill's eyes. That's the second lead. Someone was eating on the couch. Wow, it's honey. The advance is closed. Beedrill loves honey. Evidence destroyed. But it's not the villain. We need to seal off the crime scene in case there's any more tasty evidence. The team wants to know if she's been able to find out anything. The detective seems to have already picked up the trail. That's quite suspicious hoof dents. They would have noticed the horse's appearance. The mind of a true detective must be cold. We have to check the entire criminal database. It's definitely Rapidash. The guys can't believe that Rapidash is with Ross. I think we're in for a big showdown. Ash, what happened to your team? Ariel, have you seen Pikachu? There she is. Now hide. Ariel, you're gonna blow the cover. If Beedrill was right, they're right around the corner. Just in time, detective. There's the accomplice. What is she doing here? Wow, I wouldn't want to be the target. Pikachu can't wait to take her revenge. But we can't rush it. This requires trickery. Rapidash doesn't seem to realize anything. What? An apple? You can consider it a parting dinner. The team has never seen Pikachu in such a mood. One punch wasn't enough after all. But Pikachu has no intention of backing down. Great, now Rapidash has a moving target. Today, fire and lightning will clash. Pikachu charges the most powerful lightning ball. Rapidash manages to block it. Pikachu is ready to tame the horned Pokemon. Toro, Toro! Uh-oh, Pikachu better not have done that. Rapidash is taking an extreme charge. The hive will protect its queen. That's tough luck. I hope you're not allergic to bees, otherwise you are in trouble. Huh? That's quite a hack. 
Rapidash is not in the mood for jokes right now. Ariel's gonna cool the fire Pokemon off in no time. Yes, yes! Mermaids have superpowers too! Beedrill, don't forget to pick up your colony. You got it pretty bad today, Rapidash. Team Ash is on a roll today. Right, Pikachu? Rapidash wouldn't be so quick to jump to conclusions. Their friend only has 10 minutes to live. Does Ross really make villains of everyone he interacts with? They're running out of time. Rapidash has managed to escape. Now they need to pull themselves together and save Pichu. To Ross's lab. Where does he keep Pichu? Right now, Detective Beedrill could be useful. I think Pikachu found something. Look, maybe she's in there. Ash, take a look. Ariel can't wait to set her friend free. Oh no, water conducts electricity too well. Ariel needs to be more careful next time. Looks like Ash needs to take matters into his own hands. That sounds painful. Ash would go headfirst into walls to save Pichu. Our team got hurt without even going into the lab. Pikachu has had enough casualties. Pichu's fate is in her hands now. Ash, get down. Try to open it and see if it budged. Get out of the way! Pikachu will show you how it's done. Anybody home? Wait, maybe they left a key under the mat. Oh, Ross, you may want to hide it better next time. Looks like the whole team's back on track. Pikachu, hurry up and open the door. Don't be nervous, you can do it! Waiting is the worst kind of torture. Ross proved to be quite a handful. Pikachu, do it for Pichu! The team decided to warm up before the fight. Don't get distracted, Ariel. How many keys does Ross have? Just one left. Yay! Pikachu! You did it! Hey, wake up! You've got Pichu to save! How long do we have to wait for you? Get to the lab! The team got into the lair of the villain. I wonder where he's hiding their baby girl. There she is! The girls are finally back together. Neither Ross nor the balloon will come between them. Ariel missed Pichu too. Pika, be careful! Ross is right behind you! It was his trap! Pichu was just a decoy! The girls are so excited to see each other, they don't notice the threat at all! Oh no! Ross is ready to add more Pokemon to his collection! Pikachu, turn around! Ross is behind you! Now it's time to pew pew in the other direction, Pikachu! Ross didn't wait for the girls to finish playing! Not again! It's not time to give up yet! Ash shares a plan with the mermaid and she's ready to back him up! Show off your abilities! You can't stop Ross with bubbles. The incubator is already overcharged. Only a miracle can save the guys from failure. It's time for the mistress of water to show her true power. The terror of the seas and oceans, Mermaid Ariel. This tsunami is for you, Ross. Hold your breath. Looks like your plan went down the drain. Ariel, you succeeded. Didn't mom tell you to not go near an outlet with wet hands? The Pokemons are safe again. 